Hey guys, I'm Mushroom Stew here, and I welcome you guys all to another SpongeBob review. Where today I'm going to be reviewing the episode The Getaway. Alright, and here's what's interesting about this episode is that Kaz is the only writer for this episode. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, and then the reason why I possibly do separate reviews on one episode and then do another review is because I want to share my whole thought on the whole episode. I want to share my thoughts on the whole episode, not just, like, what I feel about it. I just want to share my thoughts on all of it. Like, everything that goes on inside the episode, I just want to share my thoughts on. Alright. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, the episode starts with Spongebob and Mrs. Puff at, like, a funeral. Well, not a funeral. I mean, like, at the cemetery. And... There was a pretty cool Easter egg I saw was the like the number one from from like that dead person in the episode. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I don't know why I forgot. But uh, anyways, yeah, there was it. There was that number one cemetery gravestone thing I saw. It was a pretty cool Easter egg, and it yeah, that was pretty neat that they brought that got that. And then Mrs. and SpongeBob and Mrs. Puff end up in like some sort of end up buried inside a grave and then and then they come back and then they come back and S Mrs. Puff couldn't take being with Spongebob so she tries to go into the phone booth although she's a bit of a well I mean I'm glad we're having more Spongebob and Mrs. Puff episodes I'm glad that's making it more often than usual so yeah I'm glad we're having more Spongebob and Mrs. Puff episodes so, yep, that makes perfect sense for her. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Yeah, and, yeah. So, and then there was, like, a new driver. Well, it was a criminal. And, yeah. It was a criminal. So then, and Spongebob thought it was like, his driver instructor, but it was a, but he used Spongebob as a getaway driver. And then Spongebob drove, and Mrs. Puff wants Sponge, tries to get Spongebob back. So he finds the real getaway driver for this in criminal named Sticky Fingers. I mean, Sticky Fins. And then he goes... Then he... The, then Mrs. Puff drives with the real getaway driver. And I'll tell you, give an applause for Mrs. Puff. Give an applause. I mean, seriously, they start to flirt. Then they start flirting with each other. That is so weird. I mean, seriously, this show has kind of been ruined the whole Mrs. P Der Krabs ex Mrs. Puff shipping. I don't want to, like, ruin that. I really want that to, to be alive. So please, stop ruining the whole Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff shipping. For, like, the whole encyclopedia, for the whole fandom here. <clears throat> yeah, please do not ruin that, Sponge. Any SpongeBob person or anybody watching us. Please do not ruin the whole Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff shipping. Please don't. I really advise you guys not to. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Alright. Well, yeah. And then, like... Then SpongeBob tries to become a... Then the, the Sticky Fence told him to become a crazy, reckless driver because the police were on them. And then he starts messing with his... Br SpongeBob starts messing with his brain like a Rubik's Cube. And then just puts it back on. And then he becomes really crazy. That just reminds me of Ren and Stimpy. I feel like that crazy animation was, like, from Ren and Stimpy. It gives me a Ren and Stimpy vibe now. I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like... Is it something telling me that we're going to get a Ren and Stimpy crossover? I know that was years ago, but... I, I... But it might be possible... But it's also weird at the same time, since Spongebob's never actually had an actual crossover. Alright. Well, yeah. And yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then they, like, later on... Then they, like, Spongebob bumps into a lot of clothing. Like, he got... He bumps into some baby's clothing. And then some rich guy's clothing. Then they go inside a fancy restaurant and where Sticky Fingers steals all the jewelry i mean sticky fins why do i keep saying sticky fingers it's sticky fins all right all right well so sticky fin steals all the jewelry <laughs> all right and then like like yeah hold, yeah hold on so 
So then, like, they, like, go, it cuts to them in, like, some sort of jewelry store. And, and then Spongebob tries to distract the, 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 like, cashier while Dickie Finns, yes, Dickie Finns, steals all the jewelry. And then they make a heist and get, and they get out. And then they st- go to a TV area where they steal a lot, where the Sticky Fin steals a lot of TVs. And that's when things go haywire there because then it cuts to SpongeBob and Sticky Fins at like some sort of wash. And then they start running away because the police are on to them again. And then they h- end up in some sort of like golfing area. Then like, yeah, and they try to get out of there. And then now here's where the interesting part comes in. So they were in like the coral area. And if you guys pay attention to this, this is a pretty cool Easter egg I found. I, I don't know if any of you guys actually find this Easter egg. If you do, please like this video. If you let me, if I'll, I'll and I will com- or comment down below that you found this Easter egg. And I may even reply to you guys. So, yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, yeah, I would love to see, like, what this will possibly turn out to be. Like, yeah. I think art right, well so like when they were in the coral fields like they were there was like these little letters like there was a k there was like a k one of the letters was a k one another letter was an a and another letter was a z and i was like wait is this a kaz easter egg i'm like is this kaz oh my gosh i'm like I can't believe Kaz put himself, he was a writer, and he just put him put his name as an Easter egg. That's so cool. And then there was an exclamation mark, which I don't know what that possibly would possibly have meant. But okay. I thought it was going to make Krabby Patty or something, like a subliminal message. But I think that was the subliminal message, Kaz. I was surprised I found that Easter egg. It was pretty cool. Love to see if anybody else found that out. All right. So if you guys did, please comment down below. All right, and I'll see, and I'll see you at the com, and I'll be able to reply to some, a few of you if you do. So, yeah. And then they like, and then they SpongeBob and Mrs. Puff meet up again, and then SpongeBob and and then Sticky Fins ends up in jail, and yeah, that that was a pretty interesting episode. I mean, seriously, this is no joke. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I don't want that, that that went on in the episode, but I won't mention too much since, um, but yeah, but I'm gonna mention the important parts. But yeah, so yeah, it was a pretty cool episode. I mean, we, I mean, I it really be I don't really like how Mrs. Puff and Mr. Krabs are like ripping Mrs. I don't know, I don't know what you guys would ship them, what their shipping name would be. Where, but. How about them? How about we call them Mrs. Krabs? I don't know. I really hate having to. I want you having to see Mr. Krabs break, like, break, like, now like, like break up with Mrs. Puff. I would really hate to see that. I really want this shipping to keep going. I mean, it makes perfect sense. They're both single and all. I mean, yeah. I would love to see more of that. So, anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sponge Bash. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and bash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and shoot that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!